diabetes and your kidney. What is diabetes? Diabetes happens when your body does not make enough insulin or cannot use insulin properly. Insulin is a hormone. It controls how much sugar is in your blood. A high level of sugar in your blood can cause problems in many parts of your body, including your heart, your kidney, your eyes, and brain. Over time, this can lead to kidney diseases and kidney failure. There are two types of diabetes. Type 1, diabetes, which generally begins when people are young. In this case, the body does not make enough insulin. Then we have type 2 diabetes, which is usually found in adults over 40, but is becoming more common in younger people. It is usually associated with being overweight and tends to run in families. In type 2 diabetes, the body makes insulin but cannot utilize it well. What is chronic kidney disease or this kidney disease we are talking about? Your kidneys are important because they keep the rest of your body in balance. They remove the waste product from the body. They balance the body's fluid. They help keep blood pressure under control. They help bones be healthy and they help make red blood cells. When you have a kidney disease, it means that the kidney has been damaged. Kidneys can get damaged from a disease like diabetes or high blood pressure. Once your kidneys are damaged, they cannot filter your blood nor do any other job as well as they should. How does diabetes affect my body? When diabetes is not well controlled, the sugar level in your body goes up. This is usually known as hyperglycemia, which is high blood sugar. And this high blood sugar can cause damage to many parts of your body, especially the kidney, the heart, the blood vessels, the eyes, feet, and nerves. Approximately one in three adults with diabetes have chronic kidney diseases. Kidney diseases are the ninth leading cause of death in the United States. Every 24 hours, 170 people with diabetes begin treatment for kidney failure. The two main causes of chronic kidney diseases are diabetes and hypertension. How does diabetes cause damage to my kidney? Diabetes can harm the kidney by causing damage to the blood vessels inside your kidney, by causing damage to the nerves in your body, and by affecting your urinary tract. By causing damage to blood vessels inside your kidney, we know that the, the, there are filtering units inside the kidney which are filled with tiny blood vessels. Over time, High sugar levels in the blood can cause these vessels to become narrow and clogged. Without enough blood, the kidney becomes damaged and albumin, a type of protein, passes through these filters and end up in the urine where it should not be. When it causes damage to your nerve cells, damage, diabetes can also cause damage to the nerves in your body. The nerves carry messages between your brain and all other parts of your body, including your bladder. They let your brain know when your bladder is full. But if the nerves of the bladder are damaged, you may not be able to feel when your bladder is full. And the pressure from a full bladder can damage your kidneys. Damage to urinary tract. If urine stays in your bladder for a long time, you may get urinary tract infection. This is because of bacteria. Bacteria are tiny organisms like germs that cause diseases. And they grow rapidly in urine with high sugar level. Most often, this infection affects the bladder but they can sometimes spread to the kidney. Symptoms of kidney diseases. You have worsening blood pressure control, protein in the urine, swelling of feet, ankles, hands, or eyes, increased need to urinate, confusion or difficulty, concentrating, shortness of breath, loss of appetite, loss of sleep, upset stomach. How do I know if I have kidney damage? Most people with early kidney damage do not have symptoms. So the best way to find early da kidney damage is to have a urine test once a year. This test checks for very small amounts of urine, of protein in the urine called albuminuria. It helps show kidney damage at an early stage with people with diabetes. If I have diabetes and kidney damage, what should I do? 
Definitely, you need to see your doctor. He will create a treatment plan for you. You need to see like a nephrologist or a dietitian or a help, help coach. We can help craft meal plans for you. But the tips, the other basic tips you need to follow is managing your blood sugar level. Keep your sugar level within your targeted range. Manage your blood pressure. Keep it below 140 to 90 milligram per mercury. Manage your cholesterol level. Let it stay within your targeted range. You must lose weight. You must avoid consuming alcohol and tobacco. Get your A1C test done twice a year. Eat foods lower in sodium. Eat more fruits and vegetables. Be physically active. Take your medicine as directed. Embrace a healthy lifestyle habit. Work with a health coach to develop diabetic meal plan and limit salt and sodium intake. Make sure you get enough sleep and manage your stress level very well. Please note that high blood sugar, high blood pressure, and high blood cholesterol level are all risk factors for heart diseases and stroke. Studies have shown that overweight people are at a higher risk for type 2 diabetes and they can prevent getting type 2 diabetes or delaying it by losing 5 to 7% of their body weight. They can do this by eating healthier and getting 150 minutes of physical activities each week. Health is wealthy can help customize meal plans and health plans for you. You can visit our website for that. If you like our videos, kindly subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like, share, comment, so that you get our videos as a drop.